Hey guys, Tyler X71 here on Jimmy Master Animatronics again, and I just wanted to show you uh, what I've done with my attic. For those of you who aren't subscribed to my channel, Tyler X71 Animatronics, the links in the description below. Um, you guys who are subscribed have already seen this, but this is uh, to those of you who aren't. This is basically what I've done to my attic. I created like a little bit of a scene in here. There's also some videos on my TikTok of it. Um, I'll post a link to that in the description below as well. Um, not much. It's not finished yet. I actually think I'm going to make it less of a store display type look or, or uh, what would you call a set, a scene. And because uh, I, I want to try to fit a lot of things in here. And with trying to create a set, it's kind of hard to do because you need, you need space. But I turn this on and this off. And that's what it looks like with uh, black lights. And they're all on step pads. We are going to have so much fun and be fun playing evil characters. And we hope we do not here. I have so many to choose. <laughs> All right, and as you can see, I have very low ceilings in here. That's why the Harvester of Souls is so short. Um, the rest of his poles are in his box. I was able to fit Grim and everybody else at full height. Oh, that guy's on batteries that I customized. But the other room in the attic is not so uh, <laughs> organized. This is the six-foot life-size Waving Santa. There's the life-size Dancing Santa by Jemmy. Um, boxes of stuff I have in like my bedroom and that uh animatronic boxes <clears throat> yeah this is the part that needs to be organized and what i'm going to do is like because i would like to try to fit everything in there but there's things like i can't fit in there like for example this halloween city witch is 10 or 12 feet tall no 10 feet tall sorry she's 10 feet tall so she obviously can't fit in there um baphomet's obviously too tall to fit in there there's a few things um here's this guy he's broken he was our store display <laughs> The piece snapped behind his neck, and it's, like, basically, like, it's too, like, small to even glue. Um, but, yeah, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to reorganize this room, and this room's not going to be a set like this room is. This room's just going to be, like, whatever animatronics I can't fit in there are going to either be in this room in their boxes, or um, I'll put them up in here, too. Because... <clears throat> Like I said, with this having like a set sort of look, you can't really crowd it too much. But I'm probably going to end up crowding it and saying screw it to the set type look. That was fun while it lasted. But yeah, just some updates I wanted to show you guys. Um, I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to be doing for Halloween this year, display-wise. But if you guys want reviews on anything, just let me know. <clears throat> um, but as soon as I have updates on what I'll be doing... Halloween wise this year for like a display like I might do the mall again this year or I might do the outside again this year and then I'll be sure to update you guys